please indulge me while I get on the parochial side of things. Although this is an Irish story, people in other countries it might appeal to you. But here in Ireland, in the capital city of du Dublin, where I grew up, uh, there's a main street on the north side of the city, a very wide and long street called O'Connell Street. It runs from the O'Connell Bridge on the River Liffey to Parnell Square at the top of the, the street. I was actually born there. I was born in the Rotundra Hospital in Parnell Square. So I'm as Dublin, well, north side Dublin as you can get. And uh, it's a very historic street. It's where the central government of the proclaimed the Irish Republic in 1916 and began the War of Independence proper with the British. And uh, so the battles in the Civil War in 1922 were fought there. And... Uh, when Ireland became a free country, an independent state, a free state it was called before it became a republic, O'Connell Street was the main street in Dublin. It was rebuilt quite beautifully following the destruction of the, uh, from the Civil War and the War of Independence. And some beautiful buildings went up and an awful lot of interesting Egyptian and Masonic details built into them. The Gresham Hotel has this Babylonian Egyptian frontage, and that was the premier hotel in Dublin at one time. In fact, it used the street was famous for cinemas, and uh, whenever the Hollywood movies opened in Ireland back in the 50s, the movie stars used to stay in the Gresham on the same street, and there's like there's loads of photographs of people like John Wayne and Ronald Reagan and Kirk Douglas and all the famous Hollywood stars all walking down O'Connell Street or at premieres. And this it was like this until the 1960s. And then the street started to go into decay as the commercial heart of the city moved the cross to the south side. And the north side started, which was originally the main street, main part of Dublin, began to die it would, and the reputation was already already seeped in that the north side of the city was industrial and poor and working class and the south side was middle class and respectable and presbyterian or well-to-do catholics it generally though there's, there's very nice areas on the north side too and there was shitholes on the south side as well but in general in general it was seen that way so um the, the decay happened with the blowing up of Nelson's Column in 1966. In the middle of the street, right in front of the General Post Office, there was a, a, a column with Lord Nelson on the top, the famous British Admiral who defeated the French at the Battle of Trafalgar. Uh, just like the one in London, it's about the same size as well. Very impressive structure. In 1966, the top it was blown up, blown in half. And it was said that the IRA, the IRA did it. And then the, uh, the Irish Defence Forces blew the bottom half out and it was gone. It was completely gone forever. So the street lost a very visual thing, a, a massive column that was very attractive on the street scape and really added to the street. So from that point on, 66 on, with the loss of Nelson's column, the street went into decline. It started to fill up with tacky... There's, there's almost no pubs on it, by the way. I think there's only one pub on the whole street. There's tacky... Um, all kinds of shit, you know. Casinos. Uh, gambling places. Gaming places. Um, and the cinemas went into decline like they did everywhere. And there was some big, impressive cinemas like the Savoy. That's still there, but it's split into like six cinemas or something. It used to be one huge cinema, like... Radio City Music Hall type thing. And they had another one across the street, the Carlton, that was gigantic as well. And then they had the beautiful Metropole Hotel, which was next door to... There was a beautiful, the Capitol Theatre beside that. A stunning Victorian architecture. And the fuckers knocked it down and built a box with a department store in it. And it went into decline. It went into decline, the whole street. And now it's pure evil. It's There's an awful evil energy. It's full of junkies. It's full of whores. It's full of uh, 
just the scum of the earth, uh, wandering it day and night. There's no police around. It's dirty. It looks dirty. It's uh, it's like Forty Second Street in New York without the energy. That the old the old Forty Second Street. It's like uh, it's like it's it's just like it's a it's an absolute shithole, right? But it's still got some very nice buildings in it, and it's still a very attractive street in lots of ways. But it's, the energy is atrocious. I'll tell you why the energy is atrocious. The spire. The spire is it, when it was built. I think it was the tallest freestanding sculpture in the world, and it was it's it was built in the early two thousands, and it's basically a fucking needle. Which has all kinds of you know ramifications, con- considering where we are now. But it's a big fucking needle, right? And um, it's it has an energetic effect on the street. It has an energetic um, effect. It's channel. It's it's on a crosswalk between four streets: uh, Talbot Street. Sorry, is it Talbot Street? No, Earl Street, sorry, uh, North Earl Street, Henry Street, and O'Connell Street. So it's on a quadrant. So it's it's Masonic, and the proof that it's Masonic was between when when Nelson's pillar was knocked down, and the spire was built. There was nothing there. There was a thing called the Flusi and the Jacuzzi. It was a a very nice scope, supposed to be with the goddess, the river goddess, whatsoever, and Olivia. But it, it, actually, I quite thought it was quite an attractive statue. But it was a it was a gathering point for the scum of the earth, so you you didn't want to hang around it, and um, so the, the there was nothing there for a long time. And when they went to dig the foundations for this big spire, this big fucking needle, right? They actually found the box, and it was heavily publicized in the media that had a Masonic inscription on it. And so, the the National Museum of Ireland excavated the box that had been put there when the original Nelson's Pillar was laid. And so uh, when the box was opened, that everyone was bated breath, like anyone interested in the esoteric, but even people just were just interested, interested in antiquities, were like, oh, can't wait to see what's in the box. So they picked the box up and they transferred it away. They told this to the National Museum of Ireland. It probably went to the Masonic Lodge in, in, in Molesworth Street. And then they said, when we opened it up, we found nothing inside. You fucking liars. There was probably a dead baby or something inside it. They probably put a live baby underneath that thing when they built the, the tower. Or whatever, something like that. Uh, but the, I bet there was stuff in that that they didn't want to publicise or it was belonged to the lodge or whatever. And uh, and it had been there for 200 years. And so uh, I never believed that cover story. That the, 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 box didn't, the contents of the box didn't survive. But anyway, they built the spire up instead. The spire is taking some kind of negative energies in and amplifying them on the street. I could guarantee you, if you someone took a fucking cutter, an industrial cutter, a bulldozer, and knocked that piece of shit down, that instantaneously energy on O'Connell Street would, would immediately improve. And that's what's causing it. People are, oh, what can we do to regenerate O'Connell Street? What can we do to make it a nice street again? What can we do to, like, make it family friendly? Cut the, cut the fucking spire down. But they won't do that. And they can sit there because the spire is attenuating some kind of horrible negative energy and feeding into the human waste below. It's like that movie Prince of Darkness with John Carpenter. The way the, the evil in the church attracted the evil around the neighborhood. It's like uh, the Cecil Hotel. In fact, I would say, I'll go as far as the Spire is Dublin's version of the Cecil Hotel in Los Angeles. All the scum of the earth are all being brought into it. All the entities inside them is all being brought into And you just, you walk around that street and it's full of demons. You see them in, in our Celtic jerseys, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you know, like that, that type, you know. And they're like all out of heads on crack and, and, and fentanyl. And uh, yeah, the spire. Knock down the spire and the, the street will instantly improve. And you want to improve it even more? Rebuild Nelson's column as it was. And instead of putting Lord Nelson on the top of Europe, if that's problematic, put a statue of the goddess Era or something like that. Uh, give give it back its traditional street, streetscape. Knock down pennies with used to be British home stores and rebuild the old metropole, even if it's just the facade. Prevent the old architecture. The, the street has no chance while that spire is standing. 
Uh, you can sit there laughing all you want, but I'm telling you, that thing is a conduit for evil. It's just like the 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 church in in the film, and or else the H.P. Lovestock, the hunter, the the hunter in the dark, the hunter, the same thing. It's a magnet for evil. It's drawing them in, and all these all these entity possessed dregs from all over the north side of the city, they all wander in, uh, and and they 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 don't even know why they're there. They're just wandering around the, the spire general area because it, it draws the entity inside them is drawn into it. So there you go, Dublin City Council. You could spend all the money and want on improving O'Connell Street, but while that spire still stands, it's never going to get any better. Talk to you all later. And uh, yeah, if you're visiting Dublin, don't 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 bother with O'Connell Street. It's shite.